Well, hello, it's Gail Hassler Cook here. Memoirs of Fifi the Magic Clown. Now, when I first started many, many years ago in clowning, sometimes I'd be asked to travel maybe 30 to 50 miles away from my home. And at the time, I was very young, and sometimes I just wasn't sure where I was supposed to go. And this was one of those occasions. Um, I had an area outside of Salt Lake City, Utah, and asked my parents if they wouldn't mind driving me down there. And they would drive me, I would do the performance, <clears throat> and then we'd all head home. Well, this was that night. And we just finished up and loaded everything into the car after the magic show. And uh, my mom goes, hey, honey, we're really close to Aunt Angie and Uncle Ken. Aunt Angie is my mother's sister. Don't you think it'd be nice since we're all the way out here that we just drop in and say hello? Well, I'm thinking, why not? This could be a hoot. Now, my Aunt Angie, all my nieces and nephews were a lot younger um, than I. Uh, my Aunt Angie was the youngest in the family and my mom was the oldest. So I thought, oh, this will be great. So we drive over and get to the apartment complex where uh, my aunt and uncle and their family lived. Now, by this time, it was really late in the evening. In fact, it was probably closer to 8, 8.30 at night. Very dark outside. Got out of the car and didn't think much. You know, here I am dressed as a big old clown, big red wig, red nose, white face, funky clothes, goofy socks. And we head on down there. I get this brilliant idea. I said, hey, how about if I knock on the door, you guys hide around the side, um, just on the side of the apartment. And if the kids open the door, then I can just surprise them like it's their birthday and we're going to celebrate and just have a really fun time. And my mom and dad, they said, okay. So they were off to the side, standing behind a big bush. So they People, when I knocked on the door, couldn't see. Now I'm thinking if it's my aunt and uncle, I'll just say, hey, surprise, it's me. But uh, if it's my nieces or my my cousins, actually, if they answer the door, they'll have no idea who it is. They've never seen me, nor were they old enough to even know that I was a, uh, a professional clown. So I knocked on the door. And all of a sudden, somebody comes over and opens it up. And... It's Kenny. He's maybe five or six years old. And he sees a clown. He's excited. Now, through the doorway, I see sitting on the back, on the couch, three of his siblings, all older. And they turn around and they're like, I say, happy birthday, Kenny. Happy birthday. I'm here to celebrate your birthday. And Kenny's all excited. He's really excited. Well, the older brothers, brother and sisters, are sitting on the couch. And they know it's not Kenny's birthday. They go, it's not his birthday. I said, it's not his birthday? Isn't this Kenny? Kenny Johnson? They go, no, this isn't the Johnsons. We're the Lovells. And I go, oh, no, this isn't Kenny Johnson's house? No, we're the Lovells. I said, oh, no, I've got to talk to your mom and dad immediately. Go get your mom and dad. need to talk to them right now. They said, my mom and dad aren't here. That's when the idea came. So I leaned in the doorway and my eyes got really big and I started talking really funny and I said, your mom and dad aren't here? <laughs> Immediately, Casey, the youngest girl sitting on the couch, couch leaps up over the back of the couch and she's flying through the air. The next thing I know, she karate chops the door shut and I hear lock, 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 slam on the door. And then it erupts into screaming. Everybody's in there running around crazy, screaming at the top of their lungs. I was just glad 
911 wasn't around then, or I'd be in jail. Well, my mom, standing behind the bushes, can hear the kids screaming, and she leaps out from behind the bushes, runs up and plasters herself against the door, and she's trying to yell through the crack, Alisa, Clint, Kenny, it's Aunt Carol, it's Uncle Rod, she's your crazy cousin Gail trying to be funny. Look out the window, it's Aunt Carol. It's Uncle Rod. It's okay. Don't don't get scared. Well, in just a minute, we see the curtains open. And we see a little eye peeking through. And they see Aunt Carol. And they see Uncle Rod. And we hear whimpering. <laughs> and we hear somebody walk over to the door. And we hear the top lock undo. undo. Then we hear the bottom lock, lock undone. And the door handle slowly opens. <laughs> My mom runs in and hugs all the kids. It's okay. It's okay. Uncle Rod walks in. It's okay, everybody. No worries. It's going to be okay. And the kids are whimpering. And all I can think is, I sure wish I would have had a video to capture this. And then... I thought, what a great mom that little Casey girl's going to be when clowns go bad.